All right, so it is Monday, which means time for another not so awesome review. And this week, we're taking a look at Daredevil Volume One by Mark Wade. Uh, and I would name everybody else. I don't know your first names, so that's a little uh, embarrassing. But anyways, here comes Daredevil. Um, yeah, it's uh, the the side of it. There's the back of it, which is really cool. Uh, description, you know, and everything. This collects issues. 1 through 10 and 10.1 along with Amazing Spider-Man 677 and uh yeah my favorite thing it's actually not my favorite thing but my favorite thing about the physical hardcover uh this version is the fact that it looks like that without the uh dust cover got their double right there it kind of sucks that it doesn't have his name right there in case you lose the, you know, thing, but still really awesome. He's, like, right there in red while the rest of it is in black and white. I'm just going to leave the book like this, actually, for the rest of the review. Make things easier. Um, yeah, what can I say about Daredevil? Well, first of all, I uh, never really read Daredevil. Um, one of the people here on the YouTubes recommended it to me and I read one issue and I wanted to keep reading it but uh, I, I was like kind of behind I wanted to catch up so I, instead I waited and got the uh, volume one which by the way I believe this Daredevil has been released a few times I believe that there is a few of uh, like hard covers that equal out to be the same as the soft covers um and this equals out to be you know the uh the soft covers and hard covers combined. Um, I don't know which volumes. I want to say just volumes one and two combined equal this one, and then three and four equal volume two. But I'm not a hundred percent sure on that one. Um, but yeah, if you want to get Daredevil by Mark Wade, uh, the last series basically, and he's doing the current series, it just basically you know look for uh, the I want to say more expensive one. I believe it retails for thirty four. Yeah, thirty four ninety nine. You can find it cheaper for sure. Um, I'm just like letting you know if you guys want to collect it, uh, it's just easier. They have two volumes out so far. Volume three, I believe, comes out soon, and will I, if if I'm correct, round up the rest of the series, so you can collect the entire thing and just three volumes instead of buying, I think, six. Um, now let's get on with it. First of all, let's talk about. Uh, well, let's just talk about the first page because we we get a little uh, recap of Daredevil's I guess origin uh, power set and everything, which is really nice. You know, if you don't know that much about the character, like I I like I knew the character. I've seen the Daredevil movie. Um, I've seen the episode of Spider Man he was in. I've seen you know I've seen him around, but never picked up a book of his. Uh, but I knew his you know his thing. If you don't you know there you go. There's like a small quick little recap. Um, and it really, just the first issue drops you off right in the middle of it, between Daredevil and, I want to believe the bad guy's name is the Spawn, I don't remember, he was in Spider-Man animated series, that's where I remember him the best. Um, yeah, he's basically using his powers, he can, it's just, it's really cool because he has interesting powers, you know, the radar, the whole being able to sense things kind of because he can't you know his senses are heightened and everything anyways let's let's not get into that let's just get into the fact that it's art is really well done i really do like it uh let's see if i can find a really awesome picture here oh right there that is awesome um story wise you know it 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 has a good underlying story. I don't want to really tell you that much about it. It does involve a lot of the major criminal organizations of the world. And, um, you know, the, yeah, like I said, the underlying story is really good. I don't want to spoil it. There is a few issues that kind of go away from that. There's one involving him and Snow and these kids, which is really, really well done. And, uh, yeah, it's just interesting to see him use his powers, you know, as... A crutch you know that's like a crutch sometimes like sometimes they don't help sometimes they make things worse but you know a lot of the times they don't the uh, crossover with spider-man was really well done I really liked it spider-man you know hilarious 
Uh, yeah, it's just, I, I can't really think of much else to say about the book. Um, in Matt Murdock's part of life, basically everybody thinks he's Daredevil. I, I don't know what happened at the end of the last series before it, but apparently someone told them that, you know, told the public that he was Daredevil. Uh, he's still trying to deny it. A lot of people, you know, believe him. A lot of people don't believe him. Um, yeah, and it, it's kind of like hurting him as a lawyer because they'll just go in to say that he's Daredevil and, you know, kind of like get away from the fact that he's he's trying to defend somebody they're going to attack him instead and ruin his, uh, his, uh, lawyering. I don't know what you call it. And, uh, yeah, they, they basically start teaching their clients to defend themselves so it's really interesting to see that and uh yeah i say uh way too much but that's all i can really think of to say i don't really want to spoil too much here it's really good the underlying story is really good and i'll talk more about it once uh, i do a review for volume two because by then you know it won't be spoilers and all that stuff uh let me show you the back here which uh this is page four i'll start with this page you know, we got like concept art and all that cool stuff you know if you like reading these like interviews and all that kind of stuff just, it, they're interesting to look at yeah it's cool all that stuff in the back it's awesome and yeah don't really have much else to say really love the fact that there is a cover around it uh, i've noticed that Marvel has been doing that a lot with their, uh, del I guess you could call it a deluxe edition. They do it with their hardcover Superior Spider-Man. They're doing it with, I believe, their hardcover Deadpool. And I want Battle of the Atom. Like anything that's like a hardcover that's not the skinny ones now, I believe are coming out like this, which I really like. Uh, I think more companies should do that because it just, why not? Why leave it black and blank and plain, you know, or where you can't read it or anything. I, I like the picture. I like the fact that they did it. It is freaking awesome. So, bonus points on that. Uh, anyways, I will give this a rating of... You know, you know I, I, I will I will give it a rating of 5 out of 5. Um, not because... Of, like, because it's just... It's hard to say, but just the writing is really well done. The art is really well done. It's really interesting... You know, it's really good. Uh, they had Spider-Man in it, so they had Spider-Man. There you go. And freaking wraparound cover. It's just really good. I highly, 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 highly recommend anybody read this. It's really well done. Go ahead. Check it out. Daredevil by Mark Wade, Hardcover, Volume 1. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching this uh, review. Probably not the best review ever. I say that all the time. That's why this is a not-so-awesome review. Um, I may have an extra video up later today. I don't even know what time I'm going to have this video up. But uh, hopefully everything starts getting more on schedule. I know I've been kind of like off schedule videos, but we'll see how that goes. Anyways, once again, thank you for watching this review. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and all that cool stuff. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye. Hey, look, you made it to the uh, end slate and stuff. Wow, I do not sound enthusiastic at all right there. Uh, I'm, I'm confused and hungry. Uh, anyways, yeah, if you want to check out any of the things from last week down below, we have a not-so-awesome review of Wonder Woman Volume 2, uh, my WonderCon haul, haul, wow, that's the wrong word, haul, uh, a review for Original Sin instead of the, because I just, I just really stopped making icons, <laughs> I started doing that again for the uh, weekly pickup, and the all-new not-so-awesome new show, which was actually a short episode, but this week longer i got like more news and stuff it is freaking hot up here so i'm not gonna stand around and, you know talk as much as i usually do so yeah but batman video might actually just be up later this week i'm talking about the video game reviewed it's supposed to be up like two three weeks ago uh it's just editing problems a lot more work than it seems but anyways yeah thanks for watching again you know hit the like button comment and all that cool stuff and i will see you guys later goodbye